why narcissists don't care about you or anything else. If you are watching this video, maybe you feel like the narcissist doesn't care about you. Or maybe you feel like they don't care about something that you care about. They have no concern. They don't give serious attention or consideration to things that are important. And it just makes you wonder why. You may even look at yourself and wonder if maybe you're just not worthy of their consideration. You may begin to doubt your worth. And this is actually what the narcissist wants you to do. They want you to doubt your qualities and abilities. They want to make you believe that you don't deserve anything better. Because that's how they control you. That's how they keep you in your place. Which actually isn't your place at all. They've just tricked you into thinking that's all you deserve. As though you don't deserve better treatment. As though you're not deserving of anything greater. But this really has more to do with them than it does to do with you. They just want to make you responsible for their behaviours. They want to blame you for your own abuse. They want you to think that you are to blame for how they treat you. That is how they dodge responsibility for their actions. That is how they dodge the shame that they would otherwise feel. They targeted you because you care. They wanted you to take on the role of being the one who is worried and concerned. While they act without thinking about the consequences. Because they think that whatever happens, you're going to be the one who has to deal with it. In every narcissistic relationship, there is one pattern which can always be observed. The narcissist is always fighting for what they can gain from you. While their victim or target is always defending or protecting what they might lose. This is something that you will see in every narcissistic relationship. It's always the same. The narcissist is always trying to take something from you. While you may have been providing something to them. But it got to a point where you couldn't give any more. Because it was affecting you. But since the narcissist doesn't care about you, how it affects you is irrelevant to them. It doesn't sway their decision making. Because all they care about is themselves. They come around you to take from you. They have no empathy. So they don't care about how their behavior affects you. The narcissist doesn't care about you or anything else. Because they have nothing to lose. Which is how you will notice that when they targeted you, they were willing to drop everything. Because they had nothing going on in their lives. Nothing that was significant or important to them. Which is how they were able to abandon their lives. And then they quickly wanted marriage or children from you. Because they have nothing. But they realize that there is a lot that they can extract from you.
narcissists engage in such extreme behavior. They will go to desperate measures to get what they want without even thinking about the consequences. Because there's nothing at stake, they have nothing to lose. So they're not afraid to act out. They're not afraid to risk everything. Because what they're risking isn't even something that belongs to them. It's something that belongs to you. And here lies the key difference between us and narcissists. Because we do have a lot to lose and we are afraid to lose what we have, what we have worked so hard to establish. But narcissists have nothing to lose, so they don't think this way. They don't care about what their behavior says about them. They don't care about what their behavior causes them to become. Which is why there's no cut off point for what they do to you. They will go to great lengths to get what they want. But we don't do that because we are afraid of what we might lose. They're not afraid because they have nothing to lose. Which is why it's so easy for them to engage in hostile behavior. They don't believe in God or karma. So they think that they can do whatever they want. Because they don't think there's going to be any consequences for their actions. Since they have nothing to lose anyway. So they can act out and verbally abuse you without a care in the world. Because they clearly do not believe in a higher power. If they did, they wouldn't act in this way. They're aggressive towards you because they don't care about how their behavior affects you. They don't care about how it affects your relationship. While we would refrain from that type of behavior. Because we're afraid that we might lose that bond. But narcissists do not have this fear. They really don't care. Because they see people as objects. Everyone just exists to serve them. And they believe that we are replaceable. They believe that they can just find someone else. There's nothing unique or special about you to the narcissist. You're just an object that they use to meet their needs. And they're used to dysfunctional relationships. They're used to instability. So they were already preordained to treat you in this way. To them, arguments and fights are normal. It's something that you should just tolerate without fighting back. And if you don't submit to their authority, they will go to desperate measures. They will assassinate your character. They will ruin your reputation because they don't associate themselves with you. They see you as something temporary. Which is why it's so easy for them to talk negatively about you to other people. They will start a smear campaign against you. They will call the police and make accusations about you because they have nothing to lose. And that is how they can resort to such extreme behavior. Because in their minds, you're not even a person. You're just an object. You just exist to meet their needs. And if you can't do that, someone else will do it. That's how they can be cruel and mean to you because they don't value anything. 
everything is replaceable in their minds. Everything is expendable. But you're afraid to be cruel or mean to them because you want to protect your reputation. You have a lot to lose. You don't want to be seen as that type of person. But the narcissist has no identity. They can engage in such extreme behavior because they can abandon their identity at any moment. They can pick up a new reputation somewhere else. Which is why they don't value anything with you. They have no incentive to control their aggressive behavior. They will change their entire lives if they have to. Because none of it means anything to them. They have nothing to lose. They can lose the reputation they have with you. They will just go somewhere else and start all over again. This is the difference between us and narcissists. This is how they are able to engage in such extreme behavior. This is how they are so hostile towards you. Well, you have a lot to lose. So that stops you. There's no cutoff point for them because they have nothing. When you have a lot to lose, you will understand that it is your responsibility to maintain those things. You will practice self-composure. You will develop more control over your emotions because you value what you have. But you can lose it by being involved with narcissists. So it's good to be afraid of losing what you have established. This will lead you into the right direction of going no contact with a narcissist and removing yourself from the lives of people who have nothing to lose. People who don't care about you or anything else. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.